Welcome back to part two of the introduction to the Cartesian coordinate plane. In this part, we'll plot additional points as well as define the four quadrants. We want to begin by plotting the points given here on the right on the rectangular coordinate system. Remember, every point has an ordered pair where the first value or first coordinate is the input and the second value or second coordinate is the output. And we always find the inputs along the horizontal axis and we always find the outputs along the vertical axis. So notice that point A has the ordered pair negative four comma two, so we have an input of negative four and an output of positive two. So to find the location of this point from the origin, because the output is negative four, we would go left four units to negative four on the horizontal axis, and then because the output is positive two, we would go up two units to the output of positive two. This is a location of point A. Notice how at this location, we have an input of negative four and an output of positive two. Point B has the ordered pair three comma eight, so the input is three and the output is eight. So because the input is three from the origin, we would move right three units to positive three on the horizontal axis, and then because the output is positive eight, from here we would go up eight units to the output of positive eight. This is the location of point B. At this location we have an input of three and an output of eight. For point C we have the ordered pair zero comma negative five, so the input is zero and the output is negative five. So from the origin, because the input is zero, we don't move left to right, we stay here where the input is zero, but because the output is negative five, from here we do go down five units to the output of negative five. This would be the location of point C. At this location we have an input of zero and an output of negative five. For point D we have the ordered pair negative six comma negative four. We have an input of negative six, an output of negative four. So because the input is negative six from the origin, we would move left six units to negative six on the horizontal axis. And because the output is negative four, from here we go down four units to the output of negative four. This is a location of point D. Once again, notice how we have an input of negative six and an output of negative four. For point E, we have the ordered pair five comma zero. So we have an input of five and output of zero. So because the input is positive five from the origin, we move right five units to an input of positive five. From here, because the output is zero, we don't move left or right. Point E is here on the horizontal axis. At this location, we have an input of five and an output of zero. Point F, we have the ordered pair two comma negative eight. So we have an input of positive two and output of negative eight. So because the input is positive two, from the origin we move right two units to the input of positive two. Because the output is negative eight, we move down eight units to an output of negative eight. This would be the location of point F. Once again, notice point F has an input of two and an output of negative eight. And then finally we have point G with the ordered pair zero comma zero. Remember, the ordered pair zero comma zero is the origin, this point here, the intersection of the two number lines. Notice here, both the input and the output are zero. Now let's talk about the four quadrants. Notice how the two number lines divide the coordinate plane into four different regions or four different quadrants. This quadrant here in the upper right hand corner, this is where both the input and the output are positive. And then from here we go counterclockwise. The second quadrant is this quadrant here. This quadrant is when the input is negative and the output is positive. This quadrant here is the third quadrant. This is where the input is negative and the output is negative. And finally we have the fourth quadrant here. Notice how we're using Roman numerals to indicate the quadrant. And quadrant four is where the input is positive and the output is negative. Let's look at some examples. Let's say this point here, 
that has the ordered pair two comma four, notice is in the first quadrant because both the input and output are positive. This point here would have the ordered pair negative seven comma three. This is in the second quadrant because the input is negative and the output is positive. This point here would have coordinates or have the ordered pair negative four comma negative three. Both the input and output are negative, so we're in the third quadrant. And here, let's say, this point has coordinates or ordered pair seven comma negative two. This point is in the fourth quadrant because the input is positive and the output is negative. Now you might be asking what happens if we have a point that's on one of the axes. Let's say we have a point here with coordinates zero eight which is on the vertical axis. We typically say this point would not be in one of the quadrants, it's actually on one of the axes or on one of the borders of the quadrants. The same thing for a point, let's say here, on the horizontal axis. This point would have coordinates negative five comma zero. We would say it's not in one of the quadrants, it's on the horizontal axis. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.